Hi friends. So if I were to tell you to draw something on a piece of paper, how would it all start? So maybe you would put this dot here and then extend it further to make some curves or maybe start from here and maybe draw some slant but straight line. Maybe connect two lines. You would probably start from here and maybe spiral. Now in all of these shapes, what you see is that it all started with this tiny little dot here. And you got all these dots together in different different ways and what comes out are different different shapes. So this tiny little dot here is what is the building block of these shapes. Now if your, if your pencil were slightly thicker then a dot would be of this size and if you used a sketch pen it would probably be even more thicker. But if your pencil were sharpened the dot would be quite tiny. Let me put it here. Now let's move on to understand how do we understand this dot in geometry. In geometry this this idea of a dot is what we call a point. I'm drawing a few points for you. Now what we need to understand is this dot that appears here may seem to have some size but in geometry in pure geometrical terms a point does not have any size or magnitude. It does not have any length, does not have any width. It simply gives us a single location. Now, what are the examples of a point? Now, imagine that you're looking up in this night sky and you see all the stars. They appear like points. Or maybe you're sitting with a map and you have these cities that are marked with points. Or maybe even the tip of a needle. All these are example of, examples of points that we see in daily life. And you've already understood that this point is what we connect together to form different different shapes, which we'll see further. Now, lastly, if there are many points that you see here, it would be difficult to differentiate. You would not know which point is which one. If I were to tell you, okay, look at that point, that's where maybe on a map I stay. So you have to label points. In geometry, the way we label or give names to these points is that we use capital letters, a single capital letter. Let me show you. So now the way you see here, each of this point has a capital letter assigned to it. So remember that. So I mentioned a few examples earlier, so I thought let me show you a few images. You know by now that a point simply in geometry means a location. It has no size or length or width. And we generally understand it as being a location in space. So uh, you, what you see here is, is obviously a sky filled with beautiful stars. And these stars appear to be like points, similar to what we understand as geometrical points. Mo moving on, you see that it can also represent certain cities or certain states, maybe on a world map, as you see here, and uh, certain locations. It could also be certain dots on things that we use, maybe in dice or in clothing. And more, a more better example would be the tip of a needle is, is, a, is a fine point, is more closer to the geometrical point. And lastly, in a game of dart, you see that when we hit these darts on a dartboard, the location that is formed is by a point. So remember this. Bye.